Hello everybody, my name is Teacher Andy. So today Teacher Andy would love to share a very interesting book, okay? So the name of the book is called The Benin Stained Bears and Too Much Junk Food. <laughs> okay, so I probably think everybody loves junk food. I'm a victim. <laughs> And I'm sure some of you also are victims of junk food because junk food is so yummy, yummy, yummy. When I eat candy, I feel so happy. Even if I had a bad day or I was feeling sad, but the minute I put some candy on my mouth, ooh, 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 ooh yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> I start to feel good. If I eat pizza, um, very, very yummy also. All my problems seem to fade away. I feel very happy, rejuvenated, and excited at the same time. Okay. So, here, in the cover, on its own, right, we already see <laughs> the bears. This is Papa, who is eating sweet pops. It's popcorn, sweet pops. Okay. And here we have brother who has, I don't know if this is like a, like a donut or something. And also he has candy on the other hand. And then here we have sister who's eating candy and also has another candy on her hand, which is a lollipop, right? And then we have here poor mother who is just looking at these bears, <laughs> eating too much junk food, right? So already when you look at the cover, it shows you that mother is not happy with what she sees and probably she'd want to do something about it. Hmm, right? So probably she'd want to do something about it because eating too much junk food too much junk food is not okay it's not good it's not good for our bodies it's also not good for our health okay when our bodies get fat our health also starts having problems and that's not good for us okay so let's go to the first page right but before we get to the first page of the book, which is very interesting, by the way, I had to ask myself, what was the aim of the author in the book? Why would someone just jot down a book about too much junk food? Right. So this book does a wonderful job at actually explaining to young children and adults, because we saw Papa also eat a lot of junk food and also the babies eat a lot of junk food okay sorry about that so here we can see papa also eats a lot of junk food and then we also get to see here which is brother he's also eating a lot of junk food and then we have sister the only person here who is not eating any junk food is the mother right so we had to look at why why would the author choose to write a book about junk food so the author wanted to explain to us why we should not eat a lot of junk food or eat junk food and why we should actually instead eat nutritious foods and do a lot a lot of exercise run 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 if you're not running do push-ups or oh, if you're not doing push-ups okay but do any form of exercise for your body even if it's just doing jumping jacks right jumping jacks just to maintain a good body a healthy body okay so the book shows the results of maintaining a balanced diet diets also because at the end of the book we get to see yes we had these bears who were eating so much of junk 
but because mother put a stop to it, they had to change their pattern and their routine. And did they not adapt to it? They did. And then when they did adapt to it also, they started being okay with it to a point that they enjoyed it. And it was benefiting them and their health, their bodies, and life was going on. So we don't always have to eat a lot of junk food or eat junk food for us to survive or for us to snack. We can even try eating healthy snacks like peanuts rather, if not peanuts, eat yogurt, all of those things. Okay, so at the last page, we get to see Papa and sister and brother celebrating eating nuts, carrots, and they found it to be very yummy and very good. So now they are very, very healthy, very, very, very healthy, and also very happy that their bodies are now starting to get in shape and also they actually won a race. So hard work pays off. That's the message I got from this very interesting book. Hard work pays off and also being determined, it actually pays off. And the other interesting is that no junk food. Let us eat healthy. And once you start eating healthy, you will never go back to eating junk food because you will be also very happy and content with the results that you are going to be seeing. So that's my book for today also. Very interesting book, which talks about the one thing that we can never stop eating, which is very bad that we can't stop. But the book actually shows us how when we try to stop eating junk and we start eating healthy, we are actually going to be very happy with the results that we're going to see because we are going to be very healthy. And also, besides being healthy, we are also going to be able to exercise very well. Okay, goodbye. I hope you love the book and you actually get to read it.